Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick run through of how the ECG app on the Apple Watch Series 7 works. I'm doing this on the 41 millimeter Series 7, the green one, not that that matters. The ECG is available on the Series 5, 6, and 7. I have videos on the Series 5 and the 6, but today I'm going to be showing you on the Series 7, so let's jump right into it. Guys, I am here on the Apple Watch, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit the home button. You're going to scroll until you find that weird white thing with the squiggly heartbeat. Click on that. And it's going to tell you to take an accurate ECG, your Apple Watch needs to be snug on your wrist. Select it in the current settings. Currently that is your left wrist, so I'm on my left wrist. And you can update your settings if it's wrong, but right now I'm going to hit OK. And what you do is you want to hold your finger, don't press, just hold it against the crown for 30 seconds. And what it's doing is it's taking a pulse through the Apple Watch heart monitor, but it's also doing something with your finger and then using algorithms to tell you if you have um, atrial fibril fibrillation, I think it's called. Um, but I'm going to be quiet and stop talking. My heart rate's going up. Alright, so it's showing sinus rhythm. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. You cannot check for heart attacks, so if you're dying from a heart attack, call emergency services. You can also, if you're not feeling well, you can add symptoms and kind of keep a log. The one thing that does happen is every time you do an ECG, it's going to jump over to your iPhone. So let me show you that. Alright, every time that you do a ECG, it is going to show in the Apple Watch Health app. So you want to go to your electrocardiograms. I'm going to click on the one from tonight. It shows you the average heart rate, it shows you kind of the picture, whatever that graph means. I'm not a doctor. Um, I had sinus rhythm, which is good. It shows you the start time as well as the manufacturer of the Apple Watch. What's really cool is you can actually go and export a PDF to your doctor. So it takes a PDF giving you all of the information, all of the readings, and you can send that to your doctor. So if your doctor is monitoring you for a heart condition, this will save you the time of having to go to the doctor, the expense, and they can just look at this, which is super awesome. And that's it, guys. That's how to use the ECG feature on the Apple Watch Series 7. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I will put a link down below where you can buy the Apple Watch. Check out Rakuten. They have cash back, which is great. You can get up to $30 right now before the holidays. Plus, they are always doing like big 10 to 15% cash back deals. And now with iOS 15, you can add an extension into Safari and never miss a cash back deal. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.